Coach Barkley, Lincoln High School, Yellow Jackets. Kylie Hayter, senior. Madeline Amberson, senior. Kenzie Gray, senior. Emma Croy, junior. Coach, first of all, thanks for hosting this event. It's been fantastic. You stepped up and, and offered, you know, you got a media room to do this in. This has been great for us. We didn't have to find the place. Appreciate you for doing that. Coach, let's dive right into it. Um, you've been here for a while. You know the community. You know these girls. What's it look like this summer for you guys? Just overall, I know you guys have had, you know, camps and whatnot, but just take us through the summer. As we finished tryouts in, in May, uh, we knew that this group was hungry to get back to some, some basic volleyball, to get back in and get our skills honed in so that we could get in and uh, and hopefully push just as far as we've been before or farther and put another picture in the wall in the gym. And um, they got after it. They, they came in, hit the weight room, um, pushed themselves to uh, get better. Team camp was amazing. Uh, we go up to uh, Gunnersville and we work with uh, the team from Muncie, Indiana. They come in and, and that's two full hard days of volleyball from sunup to sundown or past sundown. And uh, we're tired when we leave there, but it's a good day. You work hard, you do a lot of skill work. And then we've hit the gym, hit the weight room pretty hard. And um, we've had some play dates and, and we've looked good at times and we've looked like we um, just picked up a volleyball at times. But <laughs> Um, we've played hard and we've grown and, and, you know, we lost a big setter last year. Uh, we lost both setters last year, uh, Abby, um, we lost her to injury this year and to softball. So, um, but she, she's going to get that, what she needs and come back and get after it next year. But so I've had two seniors step up to set and that's, so that, that just shows you they're hungry and they care about what they're, they're doing. We, we use that word a lot this, this summer, care. I'm, I'm, I'm competitive, I'm in the moment, I'm, I'm attentive to what's going on, I'm reactive to the situation, and I'm enthusiastic about what I'm doing. And that, that's kind of been our mantra this summer, and, and we're gonna push on through the year. Absolutely. For you young ladies, each one of you guys, take us through your summers and what it's looked like individually. Um, I thought it was gonna be easier this summer, but it was like a lot harder. And as she said, we wanted to care because it's our last season, like we don't know if we're gonna play again. And personally, I just want to like, I wanted to set like all the other years and I just worked hard for it and I finally got that spot and I just really started caring more about it this year. So. Uh, well, me and Haley stepped up to set and I just think that I personally need to work on my sets more because I used to play hitter or I used to hit and play back row, but now I'm a hitter and a setter. So I just need to work on my sets. Well, we've been working really hard in the weight room, more than we usually have. We work out for about an hour and practice for two. And um, like Coach Barkley said, the camp that we go to, it's really intense. And we um, learn a lot there. And I'm really sore after that camp. <laughs> so that just shows you that we work hard there and working hard at practice every day. I think that it's been a lot of fun, and the camp that we go to is a lot of fun. I like going to that camp because you work hard at that camp, and you get a lot done, and you learn a lot more. And last year, I was just a hitter, and I didn't do back row. And this year, I have to do back row, so I think I'm just going to keep working on getting my passes and working better us together instead of just working on myself, working together as a whole. You know, the Monciano camp, he's got a... Uh two multiple time All-American helping from Penn State there. Oh, so well, yeah. I'm pretty sure John, she knows Johnny, what about. Johnny was uh, yeah. fine. I love her. Interesting, yeah. Um, Last great story. Coach, from what I'm hearing from your players, a lot of versatility on this team. Not, maybe not by choice, but you have to be, correct? Oh, gosh. And that's the good thing about these girls. I, I've coached each of them since they were in the seventh grade. And, and to know that they're just willing to jump in and do what's necessary to make sure that we can be successful, um, that – Sometimes when you are dealing with teenage girls, they just want to know what, the, you know, just, I only know this and I'm only doing this, but not these. Uh, these girls are willing to try anything. Um, we, we have a, a saying on our wall, it's not, can I find a way? Sometimes it's, can I make a way? Mm. And, and they're, they're making a way. Good. All right, for each one of you young ladies, obviously Coach has you guys in here for a reason, being a leader. What does that mean to you individually to be able to be looked at as from your coaching's 
coaches as leaders in this thing? It's very nice to know that she takes appreciate of what hard work that I do and that it shows that I'm working hard and that I'm helping everyone. <laughs> I just like to be looked at too by the young ones. And like what Emma said, Coach looks at us like a leader and I appreciate that. The little ones look at us and like Coach Barkley, she called us in here because she feels like we should be the leaders because we're the oldest and the other ones don't know really how to do it. And we're the ones that have to show them how. Y'all have a nickname for the other classmen? Is it the little ones? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I've heard them called anything from minions to babies. <laughs> the babies. Yeah, the babies. Yeah. I've heard that. They had a lot of softball calls there as babies. Um, Coach, what's some of the things you know that you've got to dive in on? You know, we're, we're in season mode now. I mean, there ain't no reset button for these young ladies. What's some of the things you know you got to attack immediately as a coach? Uh, what we've talked about all summer is uh, to to win the season. We're not just talking about winning the game, but to win the season, you have to win the passing and the serving game every game. Every time you step on the court, you got to be efficient passers and efficient servers. The rest of it is like icing on the cake. If you get some great blocks, if you get some great kills, that's awesome. But uh, we like to look at the teams that when we played, okay, when you play Spring Gardener, when you play Sandra, why do you hate playing them? Because when you hate, you hate playing them because when you put a ball down, it can be an awesome kill, but it comes right back because their defense, their defense is in the position to make that good. So we, that's what we've got to look at. You've got to look at that position and know that defensively, we've all heard defense wins championships. Volleyball doesn't look at it that way sometimes, but it's exactly right. The, the teams that are in there defensively are the ones that uh, are putting the ball back across, and you make the mistake because we're going to dig it up. And, and so we have taken that on. Uh, Kinsley took that on and started in eighth grade, uh, and she wants to put herself in position to make that great dig to make that great pass so that Haley can make a good kill, so Madeline can make a good kill, so Emma can make a good kill. We know that it all works in sequence. And uh, so get in there and pass the ball. No doubt. No doubt. And, and D-Bark, assistant coach, his favorite thing to tell him is next ball. <laughs> because you're not going to get all of them, but the next one's coming. So be ready and be prepared for what's coming next. And, and I think that if these girls can get in there and they can learn that, that's what's going to serve them best for the rest of their life. Um, all, you, all you guys are seniors, correct? This is Junior. Mm -hmm. This one's for the seniors then. Um, we'll start right over here. Can't hit reset. This is it. That's got to be a sense of urgency right there. Uh, that's got a lot of fire in you every practice, every, every play. Talk about that. What, how that urgency and how it can help this team. The urgency is this is your, like, this is my last season and, like, I don't want it the best for the team. I want to go the furthest with this team because it's my last. Like, I don't get another chance. And, I mean, I want to go to college for it, but that's not, like, guaranteed. So this season, I want to make it the best one because it could be my last. I just think that even though if you're a little young one, that you need to put all – or you need to put all, all – you're all in the practice and in the games, not just when you're a senior. That's correct, 100%. Um, being a senior makes you want to work hard because you it could be your last game. Like, you could get hurt and it could be your last game. Like, you never know when it's going to end. So it just makes you want to work even harder and kill yourself on the floor to get every ball. <laughs> That's what I do. Are you the uh, Rivera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Little, little, little me. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. Lavero's got a different mindset. She's not. Yeah. But you just want to kill yourself to get every ball up because it gets you where you got to go. Got you. Now, from a junior standpoint, what's some of the things you can do to support these seniors? Obviously, bring that message they got, but you know, that's going to be huge for you because you're also a leader. Well, definitely, like when you're at practice, you want everyone to work hard. Like even the younger ones, like you want everyone to seem like they want to be there because it's their last year. I'm never going to play with them again. So, like I want the best for them and the best for this team. So if we do good now, they the little ones will see and they'll want to come back and they'll want what we have and more than what we have. All right. 
have been a, have y'all figured out what your ace celebration will be? <laughs> yeah. They've worked on a couple we, of different ones. We have different ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's different for the, whoever got the ace sometimes too. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I like that. I mean, individualized. Well, so <laughs> little, all ace yeah is D Bark's favorite one. Uh, when you echo. When y'all have everybody get in the center and huddle up, are y'all saying stuff or is that just for show? Sometimes we say so. Sometimes, Sometimes we forget to even we do don't that. We don't really do it a lot. <laughs> I forget most of the time. Most of the time, most of the time we just get everybody like next yeah. I usually just most say like a job and stuff. Do you do that? Okay. I should. Have you ever went to go get in the huddle and then didn't realize that they had hit it back? I've seen that a couple no. times. Yeah, oh, early yeah, celebration. Yeah, we have. Oh, celebrated too early, yeah. They think they can get to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was down. Wait, that has happened. Mm -hmm. That's the, the worst. worst. One, huh? Uh, probably more. Okay. Sure. That's <laughs> happened to me a lot. Sure, Coach. I bet Coach, that's okay, ladies. That's <laughs> oh, no. Nah. We don't mind that. We don't play to the whistle or anything. <laughs> uh -uh. Coach, uh, give us your final thoughts on this upcoming season. This one's going to be special. Um, no matter the outcome of this year, it's a special year because of who they are. Uh, they work hard when they're when they're in the gym. They, but they do something that the groups before them haven't done. I can walk in any classroom, and if they're sitting idle, there's a Chromebook open and there's a volleyball game on it. Mm. This group of girls, they're film watchers. And it's, it can be theirs, it can be a college, it can be, uh, it can, and then they'll send me film, they'll send me things. And so that's special. And so if they're watching and analyzing it, they care about it, mm -hmm. it's going to be a special year that's because right. they're going to push. And they, as leaders, this group that's sitting here before you, they'll come to you and they're like, Coach, I know it's not our team, but you don't think this one's giving her all. Hey, coach, I don't, I don't know, I know, I, but I, you say come to us and talk to us about it. So this is what we've got. They can, and so that makes for a special year. Self coaching. They, they do. That's good. Once you get that, you're on your way. Um, I can just sit back and just say thanks. Guys, I appreciate you. That awesome, awesome time for you to host this event for us has been great. I loved it. We're happy Thank to you have so you. Thank you so much, all you guys. Good luck on this season. Thank, Thank you. you.